Hi guys, my name is Minhajuddin Ansari and you're watching another tutorial on C programming and today I will talk about using the break and continue statements inside nested loops. So keep one thing in mind, the break or continue statements only applies or only acts on the loop in which it is used. It does not act on any other loop. So if you have nested loops, it will only act on that specific loop in which it is used. So let me give you an example of what I mean. So I'm going to write a nested for loop. And inside the body of my outer for loop, I'm going to enter another for loop. And inside the body of my inner for loop, I'm going to print the value of i. And inside the body of my outer for loop, I'm going to add a new line. So what this nested for loop does is that it simply prints uh, 10 rows of the value i. So when I run the program, I would get it from 0, 0, 0, 0 all the way to 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So now let me add a break statement inside my inner for loop. And the condition is going to be that if j is equal equal to 5, then simply break, break the loop. And this break statement right here, this will break my inner loop. So as soon as j equals to the value 5, it will break my inner loop because the break statement is used inside the inner for loop. It will not affect my outer loop. So my outer loop will continue from 0 all the way to 10. So when I run the program, simply the value of i is going to be printed 5 times instead of 10. Because inside the inner for loop, I have applied the break statement as soon as j is equal to the value 5. That means when j is equal to 0, the value of i is printed. And then when j is equal to 1, the value of i is printed. And then when j is equal to 2, the value of i is printed. And then when j is equal to 3, the value of i is printed. And when j is equal to 4, the value of i is printed. But as soon as j is equal to 5, the value of i is not printed. Instead, the inner for loop is broken and a new line is printed and i is incremented to the next value. Similarly, I can write the continue statement right here as well. And the continue statement will again, it will act on the inner for loop. And this will simply print the value of i nine times because as soon as the value of j becomes five, it will not print the value of i but it will print the value of i for the remaining values of j. So when I run the program, you're going to see that in each loop, i is printed 9 times instead of 10. Because when j is equal to 5, it skipped the printing of i. So, I mean, this is all about uh, using break and continuous statements inside nested loops. Just keep in mind is that, one thing to keep in mind is that, Wherever you use the continue or break statement, it will only act in the loop in which you have used it. It will not affect any other loop. So if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section and thanks for watching this video.